Amanda. Look, may I just say again that I did not sleep with her. Oh, right, because your receptionist needs to work till three in the morning. A bunch of us were working all night. She wanted to hang out. Okay, then swear on my life that you didn't sleep with her. Oh, come on. Go ahead. Look, I don't want to... Oh. I'm not going to oh. say... Ah. Your receptionist, Ethan. You know, this is why I knew that we were smart never to get married. This is why I told you never to get rid of your house. You know, somewhere inside, I knew this about okay, you. Okay, first of all, can you please calm down, all right? Because I did not sleep with her, all right? And secondly, we've had problems for over a year, and I know you don't want to deal with that, but we have. Oh, I am well aware we've had problems for the last year. If I work a little bit too much, I never stop hearing about it. But if you work too much, maestro, it's for the sake of your music. If you work too much? Amanda, you cut 75 trailers this year. You put a cutting room in the house, and you sleep with your Blackberry. And I'm not even gonna have a conversation with you about the sex because I can't remember the last time we did it. Come on, nobody has time for sex. That's not entirely true. You absolutely slept with her. Seriously, you have to get out. Oh God. You know what I really think, Ethan? I don't think you ever really loved me. How's that? Oh, no, I think you love the idea of you and me, but not so much me. Not me, not really. Look, I did the best I could. Is anybody good enough for that job? I will send you your things. You know you do this, right? When you screw up every relationship you've ever been in. It's what you do. Oh. Whoa. You didn't really want to be a couple. You resist it in your own way. <laughs> and it's hard to detect how you even do it because nobody's quite as smart as you. So you're hard to catch at it. But it always surfaces and this is what happens. What happens? Things end. Oh. Just like you knew they would. Amanda, you know how I feel about you. There's nobody like you. You just don't want to be what I need. Well, not what, what I need. I mean, you, you know what I mean. You know, I would never cheat on you, not under any conditions. And neither would I, OK? I mean, look at me. I'm down here sweating like a pig. And look at you. I mean, you're the only woman on the face of the earth who breaks up with her boyfriend and doesn't even shed a tear. I mean, that's got to mean something, right? Why does it bug you so much that I can't cry? Oh, esophageal spasm. God, it's a big one. No, it's okay. I'll be all right. I know, I know. I'm, I'm thinking about me. Ethan, look, it's over. You know, we might as well be honest with each other. Just tell me, did you sleep with her? Just say it. What's the difference at this point, right? I mean, why torture me? Just, just put me out of my misery. God, what are we doing here? Come okay. On. Yes, okay, I slept with her. Are you happy? Oh. I've been sleeping with her. She's in love with me. She's young. Look, this is not a proud moment for me. I mean, you should just know that. Amanda! Oh. Did you say, am I happy? I didn't mean that. You know, you, you get me nuts sometimes. I say things I don't mean. In the world of love, Ethan, not that I'm such a genius at it, but in the world of love, cheating is simply not acceptable. No matter what you think, I know you have a very high opinion of yourself. This isn't all me. <laughs> Okay. So when you're not in such a rage, I think you'll see that too. Yeah, maybe. Maybe when I stop having visions of you two together, I will see your side. <clears throat> you gotta be. <clears throat> Bad time? No, no, I'm just I'm just flipping out a little bit. Oh, okay.